you describe in the book, you know, that you were a dresser, you know, you like to let love, love to get dressed. Um, and that kind of rubbed off on your son uh, at a young age. There was a time, and you and you spoiled him to the max. You know, you see that in the book. He had game system, go kart. Uh, he just had he had everything he needed or everything he wanted. You know, he had, he had it all. He was spoiled. Um, and you and you kept him in the latest fashion. But it was a time where you was about to go to pay less. <laughs> Can you uh, tell us that story? Yeah, of so what happened? So it was one Saturday and we were on Canal Street shopping and I had already went to Foot Lock and brought his little shoes and all of this stuff, you know, that he wanted, but I'm ready to go in the P-List. I mean, I don't care about all the name brand stuff, me, myself. I'll dress from anywhere, you know, it, it doesn't bother me as long as I know I'm looking good. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I text him, we get ready to go in P-List and he, no, 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 I can't go in there. Why you can't go in here? No, no, I can't go in there. So I'm thinking, maybe he went in there clowning and acting silly, really. That's what I'm thinking. You went in here clowning and these people abandoned you out there. So you can't come in here no more. But here's the boy tell me, I don't want my friends to see me coming in or out there. I'm like, really, Derek, boy, come on here, come on. But Derek got what he got Terry ID. And that's what made me, you know, you know, he was really, really serious to just let him stay outside. And then when we get outside, you know, we come back out. I come back out, so I see another girl. I think I bought about three or four pairs of shoes, honestly. And um, I think it was about three. Might have been a couple, but I think it was three. But anyway, I um, I give him a bag to hold. He don't want to hold a bag. Because, you know, we catching the bus at this point in time. So we got to, you got to, people going to see you. You can run into anybody on Canal Street. But... That was like shameful to him. He really was dead serious because he's so used to dressing with name brand clothes and stuff like this here yeah, that he wanted nobody to see him coming in and out of Payless and didn't want me to buy him nothing out of Payless. <laughs> yeah, I told you all, camera, I could relate to that. Yeah, as I used to do the same thing when I was younger. Right. When my mom would go, she, like like I said, we she used to have, she used to buy us the latest Nikes. Mm -hmm. But when it came, I used to play sports year round, basketball, baseball, football. When it came to my basketball shoes, I said I had the best basketball shoes. But football and baseball, she got our cleats from pay, pay less. Right. And I was like, I'm not, I tell my mom, I'm not going in there. <laughs> and there's one more, there's one more part of that, um, of that whole story that I can relate to. Now, you had a cousin, Dookie, and his cousin Dookie had a car. Mm -hmm. Talk about the car. But, and but Dookie, Dookie, God bless his soul, he just recently died this mm -hmm. year. I love him with that too. Him and Derek was more like brothers. And they called each other brothers, really. But uh, Dookie had, it was an older model car. I can't, can't remember what it was, but it was an old time car. So Derek, uh, he dropped Derek off to school. And that was a, that was a no no there. But they don't have to read the book. Okay, no -no okay, there, okay. But okay. it was a no no. Okay. And then um, around this time, was, he was, let's say, middle school. Um, you started to notice his attitude change a little bit, um, and at this time, I believe you and Yam separated. Yeah. And you got a call from one of his teachers. Right. Uh, can you tell that story of what happened? I'm gonna just say on that part, the teachers loved Derek. Everybody knew, you know, me and my ex-husband and stuff like that. But because of separation attitude had changed that something that I didn't even realize and it was major it, it was a major thing and it hurt him and I and you know the and the teacher but if y'all want to know that story again it's in this book my little son yeah go get yeah go get that book Amazon vintage print exclusive Hollywood here you know check me out my little son at IG yeah, go oh, get yeah. that. It's, it's, it's an intense story. It is. It really is. Um, yeah. That's why yeah, I need to go get that. And it really, without speaking too much on it, it was really uh, kind of like heartbreaking, honestly. Right. Um, when I read it, I was just felt real bad for him. That was a part that had me in tears. Yeah, well. that was a, yeah. Um, One part. Right. Um, and while we're on the uh, topic of, you know, dads and relationship with dad. It was a part in the book where you spoke on your relationship with your dad right. and not really having one. Right. 
but you knew that, but you would see him, right. and he would see you. Yeah. But y'all yeah, never spoke. Right. Can you uh, kind of elaborate on just you know? My 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 dad and I and my dad and I. My dad is Johnny Williams. I'm third degree Williams before getting married. Third degree Williams Harris, but uh, born in born in third degree Williams. Birth certificate third degree Williams. Dad on birth certificate Johnny Williams. The same name as Cash Money brothers, uh, uh dad, brothers and sisters, siblings of uh, probably twenty two uh, different brothers and siblings. But yeah, I was gonna ask about that because yeah. it seemed like. It's a lot. Yeah, it's it's a it's a uh, cash money. Everybody who say they my sibling, not my sibling, but I'm angry that I read on that. But everybody who say they cash money brothers, sibling is not their sibling. Trust me. But anyhow, uh, whatever happened with my dad and my mom during separating after I was a child, I have a sister that's named after my dad, Johnny Me, and. My mom used to always take us to the bar, you know, to get get from my dad and stuff like that. So yeah, we knew our dad and he knew of us, but because of their separation, no, I was not raised with a dad and and the grocery store that he went to to get stuff for the bar, you had to pass our house each time we went to that um to the trade my giant supermarket on Annunciation Street. And I was see him coming and going and you know, we had nothing to say to the one another. But by the grace of God, and we have in Derek. Okay, but before we get before we get to you know how y'all initially right. had a conversation, how did that make you feel though growing up? You know, not really having a relationship with your dad, but seeing him. At first, you know, you you feel bad, but then it become immune to you. You just don't even worry about you. You, you know, I know who you are. You know who I am. But I know you, but I don't know you. Mm. And. That's how he lived, that's how I lived. So it was just, I, I really felt like that's how my life would always be. But you never know what God has in store for you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, fortunately enough, you know, things changed. Um, right. Yeah, I ended up speaking. And can you share on, you know, how y'all spoke, how y'all initially had that conversation? Like I said, Derek, oh, thank God for Derek. I'm forever grateful to God for my son. Derek was that outspoken person. Derek was an that shy person. And we happened to be in the grocery store. And I seen my dad in the grocery store. And he was check he was he had already checked out and we were checking out. And he was uh, standing in the area of the store. And I told my son, I said, see that man there with that gray hair? I said, that's your grandfather. I said, that's my daddy. I said, go hit him and say, hey, grandpa. And when Derek went up to my dad and did it. He didn't he didn't just tap in the back and like I thought he would do. He popped my daddy in the back. <laughs> and my daddy looked at me all like he was about to get pissed off. <laughs> and he said, Hey grandpa and my daddy just bust out and laughed. And from that day my dad took me to my mama's house after we left that grocery store. And we had this little sit down and I understood him and I understood her. But it wasn't fair to me, nor my sister, 